Hello everyone, myself Vantari from Jurhat Medical College. Today we are going to start with Morphology of Flowering Plants, page number 60, chapter 5, NCRT Biology, class 11. Now the very first MCQ, they might ask you about the uh, leaf base, that leaf is attached to the stem by leaf base. So they might ask you, leaf is attached to the stem by which structure, that is uh, leaf base. And uh, about different uh, parts, they might ask you in your board examinations and uh, some uh, my, uh, Pet questions like stipules and in monocotyledonous leaf base expansion into the seed covering partially or wholly. And in some legu leguminous plants, you have to remember this one is has been asked previously. In some leguminous plants, the leaf base may become swollen and it is called pulvinous. They have asked this multiple times in previous examinations, so you have to remember this. And petiole hold up the leaf, uh, hold up the blade for to light and thin flexible allow leafless flutter winds and thereby cooling leaf. This question have been asked in your uh, in our board examination, so it might be asked again. And about lamina and libla, I already told you an uh, arrangement of hen is given, but MCQ are not given uh, from this. Um, Paragraph. So, coming to now, phenation. Phenation is very important because the definition itself uh, consists constitutes an MCQ. So, arrangements of veins and veinlets uh, in lamina of leaf is termed as phenation. So, they might ask you the about the definition of phenation and in MCQ form, and uh, about the uh, types that is reticulate and parallel. They might ask you giving image based question as it has seen, or they might ask you the parts of a leaf as it has been uh, shown here. Or they might ask you in dicotyledonous plants generally which venation is present that is reticulate and in monocotyledons it's parallel venations. Now type of leaves this is a very important important portion and uh, you could not afford to skip this one because many multiple questions have been asked from this portion. Now leaf is said to be simple when lamina is in the incisions do not touch the midrib. So you have to be very very clear when the incisions of the lamina reach the midrib breaking it into a number of leaflets of the leaf it's called compound so you have to be very very clear about the difference between simple and compound leaf. they might ask you about the differences in your board examinations also and in mcq they definitely will ask you this question a bud is present in the axil of the petiole in both simple and compound leaf you have to be very very clear about that bud is present in the axil of axil of petiole in both simple and compound leaves but not in the axil of leaflets so bud is present in the petiole in simple and both leaves but not the leaflets in compound you have to be very very clear about that and compound leaves are divided into pinnately and palmately compound palmately compound leaves so you have to be very very clear about these two types as it has been shown in this images and they might ask you about image based question in palm pinnately compound number of leaflets present on a common axis or the and the rasis which represent the midrib of the leaf of the, uh, as in name you have to remember the examples also and palmately compound leaves the leaflets attached to a common point that is tip of the petiole as in silk or co silk cotton you have to remember the examples as well for your mcq based questions thank you